This setup is about to get a serious upgrade. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sandy Bay here on Farming Simulator 19. We have had some stuff come out recently and we are about to trade in and trade up for some serious new stuff. So what has come out? Well, we've got a brand new 700 series from Fent. We've got brand new mowers. So you can see here we've got the Pottinger as well. That's about to change. So we're going to trade these bad boys in. Unfortunately, we're going to take a little bit of a money hit. So we're not going <laughs> to... We're actually going to spend... I think we're going to spend probably about fifty dollars or $60,000 extra out of pocket than we would have normally. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it. I don't care. All I want to do is not get speeding fines. Dad, gum it! Oh, well, it is what it is. Whatever happens, happens. So let's get this over to the store. Let's get this stuff sold so that we can have our new stuff. Here we are. I feel like I have gotten rid of a lot of stuff and done quite a bit of upgrading, but you know what? Don't care. How long have we even had this tractor? It's only got an hour on it. <laughs> that poor thing. <laughs> Don't care. We're going to get rid of it right now. Sell that for 18000 Sell that bad boy for 40000 And then sell this right here. 197 That's actually not a bad price for that, at least at the store. So we've gotten... Actually, we've gotten quite a bit extra for all that. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's hit here and let's get this. So first up, we've got the new Fent that was just released. The FCR. SCR, sorry. Boom. Which is not to be confused with... This one, which is a little bit different. Matter of fact, how's the engine set up on this guy? Only up to 240, huh? Nope, that stinks. Because we've got this bad boy. Now, I don't like the color. We are going to go with a full Fent here. So I am going to take this down to the Fent Nature Green. And then we're going to bring this over to the Fent Red Tires. There you go. Perfect. It's a good. Wait, nope, 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 nope. Fint. There we go. That's the colors we want. Now we've got the Trelleborg. I'm happy with that. I kind of want wides with uh, with weights, but I don't think we need them. I think just a wheel weight would be perfectly fine for everything that we're up to. Design black, that's fine. Big engine. This is the key. 285 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. And then the front loader. I made the mistake about not getting it the first time around. We're not going to make that same mistake again. Pa pow pa pow pa pow Oh, come on. Dead gummit. Where did that deliver to? Crap. That's not where I wanted it. <laughs> well, I guess I get to drive it down to the, st <laughs> the store to get everything else, don't we? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Good job. Well, there's quite a few things um, since we're here and we get to talk about this. Um, we've got quite a bit of different stuff with this. So, one... We can old unfold and fold the door. We can fold up and down the beacons, which is kind of funny because <laughs> if we do this, it'll change the rotation to up and down. I don't know. There's something about that I think is kind of neat. And then we can open the back glass, I believe. Yeah. We can open the back glass. We've already got the glass open on our Massey Ferguson. So, hey, we'll just leave it open right here as well. I think that looks pretty good. Um, the more I'm looking at this now, the more I'm thinking to myself, probably wides may not be a bad idea with this. I don't know. Some, what do you guys think? Does it look like it needs wides? I feel like this needs wides. We'll leave them off for now. How's about that? We'll, we'll leave them off and we'll we'll go from there. It's a lot of body roll on this, though. That's one interesting thing. Let's boom, boom, reset, make sure everything's good. Now we need some mowers. And you may know that the mowers just got an upgrade. These guys right here, the Pottingers that we had, no longer. Cron, baby, Krona, whatever you want to call it. We've also got Doisvar and Gvernlin as well, but I don't want those. I want the Krone. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Crap, wrong place. <laughs> Come back over here. And bam. So uh, I mentioned in my video, said you could probably see me using these Krone mowers all the time now. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding at all. I'm going to use these all the time now. Uh, I will have to do something about these guys, though, um, because 
these don't go as fast as I want them to. They only go 12 miles an hour. It's fine, but yeah, you, you guys know me. So we've got that. Now we're at $580,000. We've only spent about 10 grand total out of pocket. Here's my next thing. We're going to need a bigger fent eventually down the road. I don't think I'm going to buy it today. We don't need it today, so there's no reason to buy it. But eventually, we're going to need something. So I thought, well, while we're here, we could look at least. I mean, Dean, it doesn't hurt to look. And I think the 900 is the way to go. I think the 1050 just may be a bit too big. And by that, I mean, I just... Okay, maybe just a bit too big, yeah. <laughs> so I like this. And then this has all the colors of the stuff that I like, even though... We're going to leave it normal fent anyway. And then we've got other wheel options, but as you know, we're going to be sticking with uh, well either standard or weights in here. <laughs> this thing's already got wide tires on there. I guess they know nobody gets normal tires. Of course, designs, we've got all kinds of cool stuff that we can stick on here. But we can have up to a 426 horsepower engine on here. This would be bigger than our Massey Ferguson we've got on the farm. This? Yeah. I think that's what we're going to get later on down the road. But we don't need it right now. We barely need this. We already have four tractors as it is. But as you know, one of our farms is a... Ooh. That seems to be a whole lot of weight bouncing around there. Huh. Oh, I didn't get a front loader either. That's all right. We'll, we'll get one ordered and send it over. No cop. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Good to go. Cool. Let's get this taken up to our uh, main farm. And uh, then we'll figure out kind of where this is going to go and what we're going to do today. While I'm at it, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and swap the tires on this. Pretty sure there's a store in here. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's definitely a place to do this in here. I'm going to swap this out, and we are going to put just wide tires on here. I like the, the wheel weights. Wheel weights are sweet, but I just feel like I'm going to miss out if I don't do wide tires. So wide tires it is. Boom. Now, hopefully, that'll give us a little bit better <laughs> stability. I'm sure the, the wheels aren't going to be weighing that much more, if any more. But hopefully, this will give us a little bit more stability. On the way here, it's just a little bit much with those mowers on there. And this is our mowing tractor right here. So, yeah. So, there's all that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this here for now. We're going to bump here and see oh, what do we got going on. What do we need to do? What is happening and what is up with these contracts <laughs> your twenty thousand dollar bailing contract that seems like a bit much to be honest fertilizer contract but there's really nothing it's all bailing contracts what field is that field 10 yo we gotta see this real quick field 10 where's field 10 i'm here maybe oh it's right here all right yeah that's pretty big no i feel it i feel it it's good I'm, I'm all right. We ain't got to do we ain't got to do that. All right. So it looks like maybe one more thing of fertilizer. Doesn't look too dark. We should be able to put fertilizer down. Let's get this party started and see if there's anything that we could do. I think I mentioned, uh, let's see. We'll go just a little bit. Um, That's not fertilizing anything. Yep. This field is completely fertilized 100%. Also, I want to give a huge, just massive, crazy shout out um, to Bjorn Nordvik, I believe is the last name. Um, Bjorn's one of our channel members, PC player, and he has been super gracious enough and sent over a kind of redone, um, was it the American Midwest Geo? So it's the one that we're using right now, and uh, things have kind of been changed up so that you can run... Uh, you know run all your root crops and everything but grass has been fixed it turns out and i didn't even know this but i've used this geo exclusively that the grass on this geo is it doesn't like to grow very well and i've had that problem on like three maps now where the grass just didn't want to grow fully i'm like what am i doing wrong homies well guess what the grass has where grass has been fixed, I guess, with, with this version of the Geo. We are in midsummer, so I'm interested to see how long it's going to take for this to kick in and make everything work. But I remember in 17, I was getting two, sometimes three grass uh, mows in a year. And I was, I kind of counted on that. 
and it's just not happened with Farming Simulator 19. But it looks like now everything is good and back to ready to rock and roll. If you're curious and you're saying to yourself, um, DJ, when did you put crops in the ground? I don't remember this. We did a whole live stream. It was like a three and a half hour live stream a couple days ago. Make sure you guys go check that out. It's going to be one of the more recent videos on the channel. It is out now, available as a video. Go check that out and uh and then come back and watch this we did a bunch of bunch of stuff if you missed that uh just a heads up we sold some stuff we sold some crops we came through harvested fertilized um planted we bought a new planter so we've got a brand new planter we've got a brand new semi truck so we're using a uh, semi truck in the on the map now with a fifty-five thousand liter tipper so we can move, I think it was like 24,000 liters more at a time than we could beforehand. That is huge. That is absolutely amazing. We've got tons of straw now, tons of hay. Uh, I believe we have 300,000 liters of straw and about 240,000 liters of hay, if I remember correctly. Actually, we can look at that real quick. Spin over, hey, 245,000 liters. So we've got quite a bit there. We've got some good stuff. We don't have straw. We don't need it. What we do need, <sighs> what we do need is silage. And guess what? We have silage. Oh yeah, that's right. We can do silage today, can't we? <laughs> we need something to get it out with. We've got about 170,000-ish liters of silage ready to be gotten out and ready to be put in over there at the cow barn. But yeah, I don't know what we're going to use to get it out with. Might have to buy something new, guys. Might have to buy something new. All right, part one of the silage operation is here, but we're gonna need another part. I need part two. Thought about using this tractor right here. Save us a little bit of money. All I would need is a front loader converter and that kind of thing, but I was starting to think, I was like, you know what? Getting animals, having a telehandler is just absolutely invaluable. So why don't we just go ahead and buy a telehandler. That was my game plan, and I think I'm going to do it. Let's park that bad boy right there. Let's buy a telehandler with a big old thing on the front. Now, we're using the Agco stuff, so I think this is what we're going to go with. Just base game, Massey Ferguson. It works. It looks good. It's going to do everything that we needed to do. We've got a modded version right here, too, but eh, I don't really think we need to use that, do we? No, nope. we'll see what else we have through here. We have the mana two there. We do have this Massey, but unfortunately we can't change the rim color, the color that I want it to be. <laughs> we don't have any custom colors. It's either, you know, silver, and silver's not the right color. It's darker than that, but it's not these nasty, ugly colors right here. It's certainly not that one. So I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to go with the base game Massey right here. Trailerborg tires. Did I just lease that? Oh, no. <laughs> yep. That was the wrong thing to do. And there it is. That's our setup. That's everything that we're going to be going with. Massey with the black bio belt, lightweight humongo shovel, and the red Massey Ferguson front on it. Now all we have to do is reset it. And that's pretty easy to do. Just click right here. There we go. Reset. Reset. And now it's over here on the front. Yeah. That's the one thing I like that about this so that console players could kind of put stuff where they want. Um, the thing that I don't like is the fact that DJ has kind of a hard time moving stuff around. That's all right. Nonetheless, it is what it is. I didn't even check to see how much we've got in here. What did I say? 170? So it's 150. 150,000 liters of silage. That's going to be more than enough to at least use to get started with what we want to do. But eventually, we're going to want this silage operation to be much, much larger. But from just a uh, grass harvest, I'm perfectly fine with that. Do you ever do a time lapse, but you forget that, uh, well, this thing doesn't hold silage? Uh, you know, specifically. Yep, um, so this doesn't hold silage. And I need it to hold silage. And the unfortunate part as well is that I can't just put down a silo and make this work. Now, I could put down a uh, multi, small multi-fruit like that, but I don't want to do that. I want to use an extension. Oh. When did this start working? 
Um, well, this is working everywhere now. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. Um, what happened to my game? <laughs> Officer, I need help. Uh, I don't know if this is actually going to work. Um, I don't trust this at all. My, uh, maybe, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Guess what I'm figured out with me. I mean, this is going all over the place. Look at this. Put it all the way down here. That's that's a hundred percent not right at all. What has happened since the last time I was on here? You're not supposed to be able to put extensions on this farm. Oh, DJ is confused. Boy, DJ's confused. Um, yep. I'm gonna figure out if this works or not. Yep, let's do it. Well, the silage isn't accepted there, and I really messed this up. That's awesome. Um, well, let's do all this work again, huh? Actually, can I fix this? Probably not. I mean, th th we gotta do a new game save soon anyway. I'm just curious. Let's see. Can I fix this? I can fix, DJ can fix this. DJ's good at this. Look at, look at DJ being good at fixing this. Look. Look at that. Ah, uh, get you some. Um, <laughs> still problem. This crap doesn't work. So now I've got to delete these guys. I've got to get myself the money back that these cost. Oh, this is a nightmare, isn't it? it sure is. <laughs> sure is a nightmare. Let's find these. I'm, I'm bringing you guys along because, well, this is painful. As a matter of fact, this is very painful. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Um, sorry ground for messing you up royally. So that's not going to work. DJ needs an actual silo over here. We can't be messing around anymore. We're actually going to have to put a real silo over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the small multi-fruit silo, at least for right now. Maybe we should try the large, large 250, 100. Yeah, this would more than, more than do what we needed. But at what cost, DJ? At what cost? I don't think I could put that there. What mod do I have installed right now? Because this shouldn't be happening. I don't have Global Company installed. Good news. Uh, bad news. I still don't know why in the world I'm able to do the things that I shouldn't be able to do. I'm going to put this here, by the way. Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I have wasted... Boo koodles of money already. Let's see if we can fix this. At least put it all back where it goes for now. I just keep ruining this entire map. Oxy, I am, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry, dude. I am just ruining the look of this map. Let's see if we can come through and get all this stuff smoothed back out a little bit. At least for, for now. <laughs> Let's see, through there. Oh, no, totally messed that up, didn't we? Sure did. Oh, this is dangerous. DJ should never be allowed. Who let me do things? Whoever did, it's your, it's your fault. <laughs> All right, I think for the most part, this, that, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we gotta figure out how much money I wasted doing all this. There we go. Everybody's back to normal now. And to top it off, I don't need to use the track to the truck anymore to move stuff because with the silo literally being right here beside it, well, that's pretty uh, pretty dadgum easy, ain't it? Look at that. Boom, baby. All good, done, ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the rest of the stuff out of this uh, bunker silo right here. We're going to get all this silage out just so I can say, like, I've got it. So we just need to get it out of there. Well, after many problems with silos and trying to do stuff, at least everything now looks the way Oxygen David intended it to, for the most part anyway. And our silo is in. We've got silage in it. We're good. We're ready to go. <sighs> and we can move on. But with that being said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Join the GoHam fan. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a video here on the channel. With all that being said, hope you have a great day, and we will see 
you later. Peace. Yeah.